Anderson. wonderful job that was I I love working with people eh I, I do I like the camaraderie and and I just I just enjoy working it's it's fun it's gives you meet interesting people you know getting out there and, and just sharing your craft with people and every day is an opportunity to meet somebody new and 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 just partake in in life just partake show up for life i always say you know show up for life if you're planning on you know sharing your craft with the world whatever it may be maybe guitar maybe it could be anything you have a craft we all are could even just be you share yourself with the world don't hide your light under a bushel don't do it Life's too short. All these cliches we hear through the years, it's all so true. I sit here today in front of you, a smashed up 53-year-old man in seven days. Robin and Bruce, thank you for the birthday card. I love you guys. You've been a huge support on this channel, to this community and to me and to my family, my wife. And uh, we love you, the Manleys. We, we love you. So... Um, there's so many people I see that come here daily in the in the comment section. I do my best to get in there and, and chat and and it's it's a huge part of my life and I'm I'm extremely grateful for this what we've created and I say we because we have done this. Um, sorry, my wife's got a, a music song going. I just don't want to get a copyright. <laughs> YouTube's funny that way. Friends, this big job we just come off the big cedars that. Brandon, the guy that called me and reached out to me, he walked up to me. There's a slight little blurb of it, of him handing me that power saw. That 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 beat, and friends, I, trust me, you know me. I've had plenty of Macs show up here, just destroyed and been on the shelf, under the bench in a pile of garbage, ready for the steel bin, and we've got them going, and they're still here. So this video is that. Uh... But friends, the difference about this one is I, I'm, I'm so much more confident now about popping flywheels and going to the points and getting in there and going. Friends, this is fun. This is super exciting. Does anybody remember when I first ever popped a flywheel off a 125 and got that old dinosaur going? Does anybody remember that video, the look on my face? <gasps> it was nuts. But I had bear claw on the line. I had walkers going like in my shop, right? This is the old days, friends. I love Max. I love them. Well, this old, this old 81? <laughs> 81 was the predecessor to the 850, right? They built the, the Super Pro 81 before. It's a good saw. Real good saw. Let's get into this video. It's Friday. Uh, Morgan's coming up from Wild West Garage. We're going to get Hogan's little da uh, Toyota fired up. We may look at the uh, the one ton again. I put a fuel pump in the in uh, Sylvia yesterday. Went off like a dream. I didn't film it. I should have because I had a trick I was going to show you. I can talk about it though. I'm going to get this video out before Morgan comes up. Friends, I love yous. Do what love would do. Just do what love would do. Every interaction, whether it's the drive through at the store, at the gas station, side by side in a car looking over at someone, we have an opportunity. We don't have to do nothing. We don't. But we will reap the benefits of our thoughts and our deeds and our actions. So I ask myself, what would love do here? What would love do? Enjoy the video. I love you. Are you kidding me? Look at this thing. It's a Super Pro 81. I got the flywheel. Okay. And um, there's a freaking 
he gave us a freaking Super Pro 81. So friends, we just got back from the um, Native Reserve. Friends, and I've got the points, I got the flywheel off. I am way faster at this stuff than I ever used to be, friends. I think it's the, I, well, I don't know, I can't say. I don't know whether the, the points are fried or, or, or what. I don't know, but it's really dirty. Like, I mean, just, it, yeah, it, super, super brutal here. I'm just gonna give it a quick blow. Just hang tough, friends. Okay, friends, sorry about that. But we're clean now, look, we got her. Just so I can, I don't know. I mean, let's, well, it seems like it's gapped, right? But who knows, right? So, up here. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in here. And I'm gonna squeak the points, friends. Friends, let's do a little voiceover because I didn't pull yeah. the camera right down in there. So, so what I done, friends, is I popped the flywheel, okay? Um, yeah, here we go. Just put two wrenches, one on the clutch side and one on the other and just pop, spun it off. Off it come. I get, now how I got the flywheel off, friends, is old school, okay? I put the nut back on, like once I took it off, I put the go. nut back on flush with say. the top of the crank. Okay, flush, it is. and it's I give it a crack, okay, with a hammer, a brass hammer, it's not and it popped off. Okay, so that that's easy. that, flywheel's off. Now I'm in, you know what I'm doing? I got a piece of emery cloth, and I'm, I've am i spread the points, and I am put the, you know, emery right. in there, and I'm cleaning the points. This is all I'm doing, but I'll show you something. Watch what happens so, here. We'll see. It could be fried. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look good. Now, hang on, I gotta get a dollar bill. Oh, I got one right here. So this is how I clean my, I take a 20 spot or whatever I got and I put it in there and I, uh, I close it on it. There we go. When you get an old saw like this, friends, yeah. if you've got no spark, it, so check the obvious first. Check the spark plug, then check the switch. The switch can screw you up sometimes. Then go to your points. Okay. Then coil. There we go. Now we'll just. I'll just see if there's any spark. It. It, it could be the coil, friends. It. You, you don't know. It could be the condenser. These are things you don't know. Right? But we we don't know. We don't know why there's no spark. We're going to try it right now. So I got to put this back together real quick. But, um, yeah, I do. I got to put it back together. So that's fine. So let's put this. Uh, where is the... Where... Okay, is that, is that that, is that, I guess it is, and then this goes on, because you never know, it might work, right, there's that, put that back on, there we go. Okay. Ah, there we go. I wasn't quite on. Now I am. What is that sound? It must be that. What is that sound? Oh, it's that thing. Okay, that's that. Let's put this back on. Make sure the magnets are good here. 
Let's try this. Where's our key? Keyway. Right there. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Boom. There we go. We're on. Now, I might be able to just check this. Maybe. What do you guys think? Can I do it by hand? What do you, what do you guys think, friends? Would you imagine that if there was spark? Could you? I don't. Ouch. I don't think there is, friends, to be honest. But, uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that goes like that. I'm going to have to put some. Uh, stuff on there friends okay let's let's put this back on there we go okay now we can check for spark with this thing let's go back oh that's gonna loosen that off no No, nothing. Friends, Friends, this is this is new technology That's, to me. I mean, yeah. I, I, putting a drill on there, how smart is that? I never used to do any of this stuff. Okay, let's try this. Why is this not sparking? Well... Friends, I see spark. Okay, I, I'm seeing spark. We got spark, friends, but it's it's intermittent. So that's kind of interesting. I wonder if I should swap a plug and see if it's any better. I wonder, maybe, I wonder. We got spark. Intermittent spark. What's this? Is that it? Yeah, this. Let's try this. No. Nothing. Whoa. There's spark right there. Very strange. We have spark. Okay, so now we need... Let's see something. Let's check something out. Oh, oh. Okay, that's not going to work. <laughs> okay, friends. So what's happening here is every time I try to turn it over, because I squirt gas in the carb and then just hit it with a drill, it should fire with spark, right? But the nut keeps spinning off because you know how that works, right? The clutch side is one way and the other way is reverse and this and that. So anyways, I get it squared away. I'll jump a little ahead here. I just tighten up the thing. I get out my piston stop, make sure everything's tight and we get it rolling. No spark. Huh. Anyway, that's enough. I'll see if I can get it going. I don't want this to go on too long. <laughs> so, so what I did, friends, to be honest with you, is I actually, I got a little bit kind of frustrated with what was going on. And I was going to, I thought, well, now nah, this ain't working out. And I deleted the video. This one you've just watched. I deleted all that footage. But iPhone, you can delete. And it goes into a deleted folder. So this is... 
I come back on this part here now and I talk about, I think I can, yeah, so so let's just go live with this thing and it'll make sense, but it wouldn't have made sense if I didn't come on and do this right here, right now, me and you talking. <laughs> Friends, I shouldn't, oh, actually, I think I can, I think I can, uh, <laughs> I think I can revive it. I seriously think I can. I think I can, uh, what do you call it? Um, retrieve or restore. I did a 15 minute video of me taking this thing completely apart, flywheel, everything. And I, I there was no spark, there was nothing, friends. Friends, I, this saw was like, I've gotten some bad old saws going in my time, but friends, I attacked this thing. I got home from my cedar falling job. I came home. I took this freaker apart, pulled it, had my list, which I never have used in the past. It's always by hand. Took the points apart. Boom. Flywheel off. Points out. Coo, cleaned them with the dollar bill. I've got it all on film. I just deleted the video, but I didn't. It's still in the deleted files. I'll pull it back up and we'll do it. Friends, I'm about to do something right now that, you know what, it, okay, this is crazy. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. It's a single jet carburetor. I don't think it's gonna fire. I, 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 it's been sitting for years. I don't think it'll go. But if it sucks fuel, I'll be amazed. Like freaking amazed. Brendan, I got it on video when they gave it to me too. If it, if it sucks fuel. <laughs> it's uh it's 
Well, it's, is it Friday morning? It is. It's Friday morning. I'm getting my rigging on. Um, my buddy's coming, Morgan. We're going to get after Hogan's little 78 Toyota because that way he'll have something to drive when we send Big Red down, Old Knuckles down to Morgan to get the cab fixed in that for Hogan. Now, friends, listen. I know that a lot of you have are into getting the old saws going and this and that. Listen, I see this happen a lot to, to people. They get a saw, just like the same scenario right here, okay? They get the saw and they squirt fuel in it. They pull the trigger and it goes, and dies. And they do that 10, 20, 30 times. Let's say not that many, I'm exaggerating. Let's say they do it five times and go, yep, it's the, uh, it's the carb, it's the, uh, the diaphragm, yep, diaphragm, yep, 100%. Okay, listen, next time you do that, I, I can't tell you on two hands, I can't count on two hands how many times I've literally just sat there and pulled the trigger and fed it fuel on a prime, right? Like just for, just for it dies, just giving our squirt, pump them. Well, friends, what happens is the consistency of fuel, the oil, it softens the diaphragm and... Let's say 50% of the time, it'll light up and suck fuel. <laughs> Friends, this one was fun. It, so do that. Get Don't just give up, it, you know. Uh, I showed that to, to a friend of mine and he actually did it and he said, Bucket, it works. He, he did, it was fun. So we all share our things through, through you know, through this place. Um, I took that saw down to work the next day, friends, and I ran that sucker hard. I dug it into a three and four foot, that's, and just, just laid on it hard. Beautiful thing about a single jet carb, when you find a, a power saw with a, a single jet carb, nine times out of 10, the, the motor's good. It's good because no one can lean it out. It doesn't work. So that was a good thing by Mac uh, and the governed carbs. That's why you'll see those governed carbs and stuff and some of those things. I got to switch arms. Uh, Morgan's coming up the driveway and, and we're going to get these, these things running, these cars old running on that. So I'll have some footage on that. Wild, wild, uh, wild west garage. Don't forget to go see Morgie. Give him a, give him a sub if you like it. Check his stuff out. He's a nice guy. So we'll do that today. But listen, I'll give you a little bit of cutting, uh, footage with that saw. And I'm going to upload this video. There was something else I was going to say to you. And uh, I forget what that is, but it is Friday and I, I want to get this out to you because I'm a, I'm a video a day kind of fella and I just like getting content out. So, because we're moving and grooving and shaking. I feel like this world's going to be nuts this year. I feel like some neat, neat things are going to happen this year as far as being able to travel and you know what I'm saying? I do. And you do too. You know you do. You know yourself you do. What's this? Oh, boots. I'm going to get my boots on. I'm going to show you a couple little cuts with this power saw. I got some good footage coming. Friends, I love you. Be kind, work hard, be honest, and we'll catch you on the next video. Let's head out with this power saw on a cut. Over and out.